Hello YouTubers, it's me B. I'm back in Rio, finally, and it's been a month since I last posted a video. Um, so my trip to Chile was wonderful, um, terrific, I strongly recommend it. If you ever have the chance of going there, do it, so it's really, really nice. Um, the people are great. And the country is amazing, beautiful, really, really beautiful. Um, whenever I travel somewhere, um, of course, I I uh, try to do things uh, tourists too, and uh, but I also try to do things that uh, ordinary people would do it. Um, I try to go to these places. I try to eat um, the food they eat and so on. And I always look for bands, always. And I got this CD. The band's name is called The Ganges. Very good. And they are really nice. They play rock and roll, um, something um, similar maybe to Pearl Jam, like eight years ago, or something. It's really good, and they mixed um, Spanish. Some Sp they have some songs in Spanish and others in in English. Also, I um, I finally had a, my first consultation, right? My first appointment with the doctors. It it all went well. Um, I had then this appointment with two doctors and a social worker or a social assistant. I knew this guy from two other places. First I met him during the trans revolution meeting in, in downtown Rio. It was the first time I saw him and also in Salvador. Remember I mentioned I had a, an academic presentation in Salvador in the beginning of February so yeah he was also there. Um, presenting and also attending some presentations. So um, the doctors asked me a bunch of questions but pretty much what they wanted me what they wanted to know was um, how I how, how I felt about transitioning, how I was feeling about transitioning um, and to tell them my my story. So after that um, I am supposed I have like five months so to to have my blood tested and there are also some other exams I'm supposed to uh, to have them to have them done or checked and and then I am gonna have another appointment and then I just show them these results um, I was supposed to have uh, an appointment with a psychiatrist on the 15th, 15th of this month but he had a I don't know a meeting or something and he he didn't cancel but my um, appointment has been postponed so I'm gonna go back to the hospital on the 30th yeah on the 30th of March um what else um, Books, yeah, I uh, I love reading. Um, I'm always always reading. Whenever I finish the book, I start reading another one, and my friends know that I like reading a lot, so they give me uh, books as gifts. I got then Kitty Lang's book. All you get is me. There you go. Yeah. I um. I haven't started yet, but I was just wondering, right? Um, I've always been a Kitty Lang fan, and I think she has a, a great voice. And thinking uh, thinking about her and watching some old videos, I um, I kind of uh, started wondering if I know she identifies herself as uh, as a lesbian, as a butch. But I was wondering, if, and maybe, maybe somehow I will find this in this book. I'm not sure. 
but maybe she mentioned something uh, about identifying some other way in the past. I don't know. I just I just think she she might have identified herself as trans earlier in her life. So I'm really curious about it. How she she dealt and how she deals with her identity in the past and nowadays as well. Um, then a very good friend of mine who unfortunately has passed away gave me uh, a classic one The Well of Loneliness and uh, I'll keep it as a Sorry. Uh, okay. So I'll keep it as not just a gift, but one of the best gifts I ever received. Um, we were friends since um, junior high school, and um, we went to high school together. And he was really, really. Uh, a good friend and he was one of the first one of the first people he was actually the first person I uh, I told I said I was I was trans so I hope he rests in in peace right um, what else I um, Um, just checking my notes here, I'm sorry. I keep doing this, right? Um, but anyway. Um, okay. Now, in uh, relation to transition again, um, while I was there in, in Santiago, um, I could pass like 100%. Now, I am back to reality. And um, what I notice is that people here um, they get they get confused and uh, they're not quite sure whether they should call me he or she sometimes I get a he others I get a she and uh, I just started working in a new in a new place and um, this week was actually my first week there and um, I had no problems I've never had problems with um, students before they have never really said anything or asked me anything but this year in this new school um, I entered this classroom um, they are about 12 um, 12 to 13 years old year old kids and um, um, another teacher introduced me to them and God, it. I was. Uh, I felt like I was trapped, really. I felt at first. I felt like disappearing, like oh, I think I'm not gonna go back to this school, really. I really did not know what to do, and uh, I still don't know what to do. But I am uh, calmer now. But anyway, um, as soon as I entered, that is. Uh, entered the room they started uh, asking each other and asking me whether I was a man or a woman and they they just couldn't stop asking this question until I said something and I um, I uh, thought a lot before answering that I um, I really wanted to say like no I'm not a man, I'm not a woman, I'm a transgender, and <laughs> boy, it was crazy, crazy. I um, I just ended up saying, and the other teacher was there.